please listen as I, I quote from Dr. King. We must remember that intelligence is not enough. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. The complete education gives one not only power of concentration, but worthy objectives upon which to concentrate. This school's vision statement connects intellect and citizenship. We firmly believe that if you have a strong mind, you are called to serve the communities in which you live. And that's part of this conversation that we're having today about Census 2010. Someone who's done so much to make sure this community is a better place to live and was a part of creating this college prep school is our alderman, Tony Preckwinkel. And I'd like to introduce her and welcome her to the stage at this time. Good morning. I, too, would like to welcome you not only to King High School, but to uh, the Fourth Ward. I want to acknowledge my uh, debt to Mayor Daly. Quick story, I won't keep you long. When I was elected to this job in 1991, this high school um, was, had a history of state basketball championships, uh, but it also had a history of being the poorest performer in the state uh, in terms of test scores of its kids. And uh, I went to the public school leadership at the time and said, we have to make a change here. Um, I'm, I, I'm a student, I was a student athlete myself, and I'm proud to have been so, uh, but the fact that this school is the poorest performing school in the state is unconscionable. And King High School was transformed from a very poorly performing neighborhood high school into a magnet school, and is something that we can all be proud of. So I want to express my appreciation to the mayor and school leadership over time for making that happen. Jeff Wright, who just met, who's principal of, of King High School. I want to acknowledge a number of other of our uh, guests, beginning with um, Dr. Barbara Eason Watkins, who's chief education officer at CPS. Where's Barbara in the back? Uh, Dr. James Quaid from the Archdiocese of Chicago. Andre Ashmore from the state of Illinois, who's our census director. Thank you. Is Rebecca here? Oh, there you are. <laughs> okay, good. Um, Rebecca Blank, who's Undersecretary for Economic Affairs for the U.S. Department of Commerce. My colleagues, Alderman Burnett of the 27th Ward, Alderman John Pope of the 10th Ward, Ron Huberman, who is our Chief Executive Officer for the Chicago Public Schools, Stanley Moore, who's the Regional Director of the U.S. Census Bureau, Renee Jefferson Copeland, who's the chief of the Census in the Schools program. Claire Munana, who's co-chair of Complete Count Committee. And Alvin Boutet, who's co-chair of the Complete Count Committee. I want to thank all of you for coming. I believe that um, you well represent the city that I love and serve. I want to also acknowledge former NFL players, Otis Wilson, Keith Van Horn, Calvin Thomas, Schaefer Sugg, Jermaine Cheney, Marquise Sullivan, Michael Cobb, Bobby Howard, Andrew Gibbons, and Harold Blackman for their support this afternoon. And now it's my pleasure to introduce you the mayor of the city of Chicago who has been a champion of our public schools for his entire tenure as the mayor. Please welcome him. Thank you for your leadership here in the Fourth Ward and the entire city. And uh, the story is true. And I firmly believe that uh, Martin Luther King Jr. should be remembered as a quality school, and not just a quality sports school. And that was very, very important. Today, uh, they have come full circle in regards to academic performance, sports, and arts, which is really important. And this should be. Uh, the leading school of our city. It, it is today and will be continually on the efforts of uh, uh, Jeff Wright, your principal, all the wonderful teachers, uh, the support staff, and of course the students. And, uh, every student I met, uh, many of the seniors, uh, and congratulated them at upcoming graduation. Each and every one of them told me what school they would like to attend. And that is a complete turnaround as compared to many years ago. These are great stories, and I hope the president would interview both the teacher and what's happening here in the school and, and to the students, uh, what they want to be in life, what they want to accomplish. And I think it's very, very important to, 
to bring out the best stories of our school system. That doesn't mean we have problems, but I, I, I well, on to every school, and there's always beacons of hope by the students and teachers and support staff and those that are in school. And I want to thank uh, Barbara and Watkins and, of course, uh, Ron Huberman and all those that are involved in this wonderful transformation of our public school system. Uh, to Rebecca Blank, the Undersecretary for Economic Affairs, U.S. Department of Commerce, and uh, Stanley Moore, who is the Regional Director of U.S. Census Bureau, uh, and all those that have worked so hard, uh, Clara Munoz and Alan Boutte, who are a complete count committee. Uh, uh, this is an exciting time, and we have uh, Alderman Barnett and Alderman Pope uh, realizing how important the census is, and to Otis Wilson and all the athletes. Uh, we're really fortunate to have many of the athletes uh, here, uh, uh, not only this event, but many other events. Uh, uh, these are wonderful, wonderful citizens uh, uh, of our city and, and our state and our nation that give back to the community. They are role models in so many different ways, and, and we've all been in different ways part of this great American dream. And uh, We really appreciate the, their great commitment they have made for the U.S. Census count, which is really important because what this is all about is that all of us pay taxes. Uh, in so many different ways. And, and what we're saying is if you're not counted and your family's not counted, basically the money you pay, you get nothing back in return. It's simple as that. And so what the count is all about is, is trying to make sure that everyone uh, fills out the forms that they receive in a family. And, and it's extremely important because if you don't fill that form out, you're denying something maybe within your family or someone else on the block. It's simple as that part of your extended family. And so that's why it's important uh, is that all the notices go out, uh, that especially students be aware of this, you know, because all the different programs that the federal government deal with, uh, uh, you could apply for, but like anything else, if we don't count people, we would not get our fair share. You would not get your fair share of all the federal programs that exist uh, here in the country. And so it's imperative, and I ask many of the students as you go home, uh, making sure that your family fills out those forms. Uh, because if you don't, then basically you're cheating yourself. <laughs> you're cheating your brother and sister. They're not going to get any, any of the money that we, we request in regard to so many programs that deal with the census count. And so it's extremely important. That's why the state of Illinois is here. Uh, that's why we're into the schools be into the parks, uh, uh, in, in, into in any government agency uh, and non-for-profits uh, to make sure that the uh, census in the school is the key from elementary and high school. And it, to me, uh, uh, it is vitally important that we receive a full, uh, accurate account of everyone living in the city of Chicago. And in particular, to many uh, uh, immigrants that have arrived recently in five or 10 or 15 years, uh, many times, uh, they're worried about filling out any form. All the forms are confidential. It cannot be used. And I underline it. It cannot be used for any other purpose except the census count. Because many of them are afraid. They're afraid to fill out the forms. That's very realistic. So we want to make sure uh, many of the immigrant families realize that these forms cannot be used for law enforcement purposes, whether it's a federal, state, or local. It cannot be used uh, for any other private purpose whatsoever. It's only to be used by the Census Bureau in the county. And I want to thank Stanley Moore. He's been a, a wonderful public servant and in, 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 in a re regional director here. He's uh, always looking at new ways, and, and, and I think uh, Otis Wilson and all those, the former National Football League stars, will visit schools, uh, will talk about the census, how important that is. And to me, uh, uh, that's an example of thinking outside the box. But again, the census in, in schools is extremely important. And we're trying to reaffirm to uh, uh, our uh, Ron Huberman and the board, and, and as well as uh, uh, Marbury and Watkins, and each of them, how important it is. Uh, for everyone to fill out these forms. It's every 10 years, uh, and whatever we can do uh, will help uh, students uh, in our communities and in their families. Thank you very much.